This is Christina from the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries, and welcome to the Top NL Public Library Reads of 2021. The books that follow are the most popular non-fiction reads of the year, according to the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries eLibrary. This list was created using statistics from the NLPL eLibrary only. Some of these books were featured in previous Top Reads videos, which will be linked below, and therefore a synopsis will only be given for books not previously featured. Links for these books in our e-library will also be in the description box below. The top non-fiction books in descending order were 10. Untamed by Glennon Doyle Both an intimate memoir and a galvanizing wake-up call, this is Glennon Doyle's story of how she rediscovered her own voice, the one buried beneath decades of numbing addictions cultural conditioning, and institutional allegiances, the voice of the girl she had been before the world told her who to be. It is also the story of how each of us can learn to trust ourselves enough to do the same. 9. Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man by Mary L. Trump. 8. Becoming by Michelle Obama. 7. All Together Now, A Newfoundlander's Light Tales for Heavy Times by Alan Doyle. 6. The Five Second Rule, Transform Your Life, Work, and Confidence with Everyday Courage by Mel Robbins. What if the secret to having the confidence and courage to enrich your life and work is simply knowing how to push yourself rather than having someone push you? Using the science of habits combined with stories and surprising facts from famous moments in history, art, and business, Mel Robbins explains the power of a push moment and gives readers one simple tool they can use to become their greatest selves. 5. A Promised Land by Barack Obama In this first volume of his presidential memoirs, Barack Obama tells the story of his improbable odyssey from a young man searching for his identity to leader of the free world, describing in personal detail both his political education and the landmark moments of the first term of his historic presidency. Four, Almost Feral by Gemma Hickey. Three, A Long Journey, Residential Schools in Labrador and Newfoundland by Andrea Proctor. Left out of the national apology and reconciliation process begun in 2008, survivors of residential schools in Labrador and Newfoundland received a formal apology from the Canadian government in 2017, finally bringing them into the circle of residential school survivors across Canada. In a long journey, Proctor attempts to redress the imbalance caused by the fact that the story of residential schools has previously been told by the authorities who ran them, by listening closely to the accounts of former students, as well as drawing extensively on government, community, and school archives. 2. One Good Reason, A Memoir of Addiction and Recovery, Music and Love by Sean McCann and Andrea Aragon. And the number one non-fiction book of the year is... Nomadland, Surviving America in the 21st Century by Jessica Bruder. From the beet fields of North Dakota to the National Forest Campgrounds of California, employers have discovered a new low-cost labor pool made up largely of transient older Americans. Finding that Social Security comes up short, these casualties of the Great Recession, including a former professor, a McDonald's vice president, a one-time cocktail waitress, and others, have taken to the road, forming a growing community of nomads. Bruder investigates this dark underbelly of the American economy while also celebrating the resilience and creativity of the people who live it. Thanks for joining us for another NLPL Top Reads video. Stay tuned for our third and final Top Reads of 2021 video to come.